Hello, and welcome back to YouTube's The Best Show in the World. This is the greatest show. You ask all the questions, I answer all of them, because I am a genius. This guy says, are you allowed within 300 feet of a school? Uh, this guy says, have I ever heard about the Syriac Aramaic language? What do you think of it compared with the Aramaic used in Jewish prayer? I have no clue what that language is. Is it just like a remixed version of, Aram of Aramaic? That's what I assume it is. I've never really read it, so I don't know what to think of it. Thoughts on New York City? Oh, oh it's so ugly. It's so ugly. Are you talking about just overall or like the Jewish part? Overall, on a, is anyone else just always stressed when they're there? I think the stress is like, is like contagious. I'm always stressed when I'm in New York City. That's why I try not to always go. Or at least I try not to go for too long. Favorite movie and why? Um, my favorite movie is uh, the one I'm about to star in. It's called uh, Jew Boy is So Epic. And I'm going to be the main character, obviously. And it's going to get a billion review out of 10. Uh, who do you eat your meal by uh, in Ohio? Like my, I assume my, my Shabbos meal. Uh, not asking for full names, just like friends, family. I usually just eat with my family. Um, here, down in Florida, I'll eat at friends and shit. It's pretty epic. But down in Ohio, it's usually just family. So, yeah. Um, since you misunderstood my question last time, let me rephrase it. What is your? Why is your main channel the only one where I upload shorts right now? What? Should I upload shorts on... Should I like turn these into shorts? Like, is that your question? Turn these into into little YouTube shorts? Um, well, I make them on my YouTube channel because pretty much all of them are, all the shorts are related to the YouTube channel. If we're talking about why, like I sort of post my TikTok and Reels on the main Jewboy channel, I don't really, I don't know where else to really post them. I mean, I think they'd get the most traction on here. So that's why I do that. Um, I feel like, is that the freaking, oh shoot, the ops are here. Does anyone else hear them? All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, there's a fire truck coming by. So that's just gonna be a part of the video now. Who do I main in Super Smash Bros? Who do I used to main? I used to main my, uh, I used to main Mario and Ness. Is it true that a Jewish man cannot reject sex to his wife, uh, if his wife wants to have sex, but a Jewish woman could reject? I heard it from someone who said it was in the Talmud. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. Or at least the law is like a man is obligated to to satisfy his wife. So if his wife says like, I'm pretty sure like he had, I don't know if it's like he has to or he, has, he should go out of his way to, but you're like, you're definitely like, it's something like that for sure. Um, why is counting every single day of the Omer so important after Passover instead of just knowing when Shavuos is? I don't freaking know. Sometimes it's good to say when you don't know. There's probably an answer. I probably learned it a few years ago and I probably forgot it. Uh, I'm being fully blunt here. Why do we count? Uh, well, there's like a, pff, it's probably some Kabbalistic reasons of like every single day represents a certain uh, Kabbalistic energy. And you say you're like withdrawing those energies inside of you. But that's like the complicated answer. This, this is probably a more basic answer, but it's not. I just, I don't know. I forgot what it was. I'll be honest. Yeah, guys, terrible rabbi. What's my favorite country and why is it Guatemala? Uh, I've never been to Guatemala. If time travel is possible, would the Torah allow going back in time to kill baby Austrian painter? And does the Talmud talk about time travel? That I don't, I don't know about that. If time, would the Torah allow it to? I mean, you're like, these are like hypotheticals. Would the Torah allow a hypothetical that doesn't exist? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, would the average Jew go back in time and kill him? Probably. I mean, I would, right? Um, if, yeah, what? Crazy, you know? So, I I mean, listen, I'm not a freaking prophet, so I can't really say uh, what the Torah would say, but, you know, yeah. We need to know who Christian boy and Muslim boy are. They're somewhere. They're in that, they're, they're in there. Yeah. Why do you think it's only Jew boy? Uh, 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 uh. What do you think of the book of Anayich? I don't know much about it. Is that even in Jewish lore? Or is that more Christian? I actually have zero clue. We don't. It's not talked about much in Judaism. Can I let your parents out of your closet? No, they're with Jew boy. I mean, they're with Muslim boy and Christian boy. Opinion on Kabbalah and Jewish... Why is it freaking... 
Oh, are they? Are you, do you all hear this? There's freaking ops outside. Okay. Opinion on the Kabbalah and Jewish mysticism. Someone's got a speaker. I think there's some like parade going on. Uh, opinion on Kabbalah and Jewish mysticism. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm into it. I believe in it. Uh, Chabad's a big part of it. The problem is people try to, people that don't know what they're talking about will take it and they'll try to find like how Satan is inside the letters that are, are in the Hebrew word for a uh, camera cover. And they'll find Hebrew letters to like find that. And now like you can't use camera covers because Satan. So like people just mess it up all the time. The main point of Jewish mysticism is fine is realizing that there's a godly bit of energy, a spark of godliness inside everything that gives you power. That's the overall, I'd say. And it's a holy thing. So I don't know why people try to make it all satanic and weird. This guy got three questions. Does YouTube pay enough to be a stable job at the moment? And at what point do you think, why are the freaking ops? I don't know if y'all even hear this. I don't know how good my mic soundproof is, but freaking, it's like I'm in New York. That's why it's stressing me out. Stress. I don't care. We're talking over it. Does YouTube pay enough to be a stable job at the moment? When will I start accepting sponsors? What kind of sponsors will I filter out and decline? Um, YouTube's definitely not stable, right? Depends on the month. Some months I'm like, yeah, some months I'm like, uh, but I got other stuff going on also, so I'm not too concerned. Um, sponsors, I said this a billion times, I'll take sponsors when it's worth it to milk it, you know, no, it's just not worth it. But, you know, when you get millions, when you start getting like millions of views and it's like, you know, like, let's start this going. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't take sponsors for freaking like unholy things, you know? I don't know. I mean, I have to, I guess we'll decide when it, when it happens, but I'll try to sponsor just regular shit. VPNs and crap. I don't know. Should I get manscaped? Uh, <laughs> why did I, I don't know. I don't know. I said that if someone offered you in cash, how much would you accept for my channel? Like to sell my channel? You can still make a new one and promote it before I sell it. Honestly, would I, would I sell it for like six, like a hundred K? Would I sell my channel for 100K? Honestly, mate, yeah, prop, mate, I would never. It's against the terms of service. But like technically, hypothetically speaking, right? I mean, react, like the content I make isn't too, like react. What I do is I just, I just grind out the same exact reaction videos I did before. I don't care if they're, if it's fake reactions. I just do it again. All my reactions are genuine, but like I'd, I'd redo them. I'd redo all the Family Life South Park reactions. The channel would probably grow again and like... I have my Discord and like my Twitch and stuff, so like I I don't think it'd be too hard uh, to grow it now that I've done it the first time. So yeah, maybe like a hundred freak, you know, like like come you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like I could probably grow another one. Uh, are you okay with the stereotype people gave to Jews compared to other races and religions? We probably have the better ones of I guess being rich and stuff. We also have, but then it turns into like a money hungry goblin thing. So now we're goblins. It's not just, oh, you're all rich. It's like you're goblins and you pick pennies off the street, like freaking money pigeons, you know? So that's a little, you know, and that some people think we're satanic. That's not cool. I mean, I don't think like, you, like comparing, contrasting stereotypes is never really fair. You know, everyone has their struggle. Wow. PC Jew boy. So lame. So boring. I know. But uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's it for the Jew talk of the day. Uh, if you want your question to be answered, join the Discord. Put it in, in the Jew talk suggestions channel. I literally go through all of them besides the ones that literally make zero sense or are just stupid and bullshit. So leave your question there. Uh, subscribe. Follow the Twitch. Uh, literally, God bless.